Before I start this high school football vlog, I wanted to take the time out to say rest in peace to BVD, aka Big Fall Daddy, a very entertaining YouTuber that I happened to come across back in 2011. When I think of BVD, I think of Tennessee football. I think of Greenville High School football. He was very passionate about the Greenville Green Devils. And he inspired me to pick up the camera and start doing high school football vlogs for Carver and Kendrick back in 2016. If it wasn't for him, I would not be doing high school football vlogs today. Wouldn't have as much fun recording high school football games today if it wasn't for him. And I probably wouldn't be going to as many high school football games this decade if it wasn't for watching his Greenville high school football vlogs. Because at the time, he was the only one doing high school football games. And and I go to games. So it was like, he's not the only one who goes to games. So that's what inspired me to start vlogging. And I feel like my vlogs have came a long way since when I first picked up the camera in 2016. So as far as high school football games. So I wanted to dedicate this next high school football game in his honor. My thoughts and prayers go out to his daughter, his family members, my condolences. Y'all are in our prayers as y'all go through these trying times and rest in peace to him. Let's go Carver Tigers. Let's go Kendra Cherokees. And just this once, let's go Greenville Green Devils. If you're out of it this year, go win the state title next year for BVD in his honor because he would love that. And I'm going to try to come out to Greenville next year to watch a Greenville Green Devils game in his honor because I'm sure he'll appreciate me doing that. We're going to see what happens with that, but I just want to plant the seeds right now, let y'all know that that is now in the cards. I must go see a Greenville Green, Green Devils game. But until then, let's do this with BBD Carver. On to the vlog. Alright you all, it's time for another high school football vlog. This is round two of the GHSA playoffs. My Carver Tigers are going up against Ringo High. And honestly, I don't know what to expect in this game. Uh, I'm not saying I'm afraid of Ringo, you know, because I'm not. But as far as I, the matchup, I've already seen Ringo play. I, I don't remember their record around the time I had. I think like six and four. Somewhere in the ballpark. So, I expect this to be more of a game than last week's matchup with Thurl. You know, that was just a uh, beat down all proportions, which I seen coming because Thurl was 3 at 7. They had no business on the same football field as the Carver Tigers in postseason play. And then when I was um, editing, that, uh, I was uploading the Carver vlog. To be premiered tomorrow by the time you see this vlog that vlog would already been premiered but while I was uploading uh, I noticed uh, uh, last year when I vlogged the first round of the Carver playoff game uh, I forget who it was against but um, the opponent, that opponent was 4-6 so it's here's the thing it just oh my god how can I put this Carver just got gotten away with playing some um, mild opponents, you know, in the opening round. Which, you know, it's really expected when you're a really good, really good team. Of course, you're going to play bad op opponents in the first round. But I didn't think we were going to play, like, I mean, back-to-back -back years of below 500 opponents bad, though. That was, that's just took me by surprise. But like I said, Ringo, let's step up in the competition. Uh, as y'all know, I said this in the vlog. Uh, Ringo did win the first round as well. They won 19-0 over Hart County. So they're here in Columbus for round two, Otis Pistol Stadium. Oh, and also, I, I mentioned this in the vlog as well, the uh, Carver Thorough vlog. So I said something about Shaw. Shaw did lose uh, 36 to nothing to Carver Atlanta, the, the Panthers. So their season is over. So right on cue, it looks like it's down to Carver and Central to hold it down. Because I think everybody else is out. Uh, Brookstone is out because they was in it as well. Um, Spencer was eliminated. Thank you again, Westside Macon. 
Uh, Auburn is out. Opelika is out. Russell County is out. I thought that fool was going to hit the uh, feed. That was going to be scary. Thank God he didn't. But yeah, it's, you know, Columbus has got, uh, the Columbus area, the Phoenix City, uh, the, the, truck, the uh, metro area has, has some representation in the playoffs this year. You know, Bogart, I, I think Bogart was, is, was in it too. I may be wrong. But I, I think you follow us in it too. I, I think that's who played what, no, oh, wait. No, I think Bogart is in it because I think, never mind. They may be in it, they may not be in it, but like the point is, there's been some representation in the metro area as far as playoffs around the state of Georgia and Alabama. And for those teams to really flame out last week, uh, it was it is a huge disappointment. Uh, but uh, we had our business, so I'm good. I don't give a fuck what happened, you know. I'm not here to try to, you know, pat them on the head or whatnot and, and you know, try to feel sorry for them because I don't. But, you know, when you look at Columbus, Phoenix City, Auburn, Opelika, as a um, as a region, as a metro area, you know, you have those teams um, coming out that area, making the playoffs, making the postseason play, and just a lot of them shit to bed in the first round. It, it makes the metro area look bad as far as football. But like I said, as a Carver guy, hey, we, we had our business. Central, I don't really care for them too tough, but hey, Central handled their business as well. They they defeated Vestavia's 41 to 21. That's how you start a fire. We had uh 41 to 21 over Vestavia Hill. So so we're the last two standing, which I, I expected to be that way before the season even started. But then Auburn beat Central and beat Opelika and became the number one team in the uh, in the state. So I figured, okay, it's gonna be Carver and Auburn then. So I figured, okay, we're going to have a rematch of uh, Auburn and Central in the playoffs. And we're not going to get that because uh, Thompson High came down to the Plains and and denied all of that. So, yeah. Central's playing Hoover tonight. So they're up, in, uh, up, in, up at Hoover. So that's going to be an interesting game. Um, definitely going to try to get, get y'all some score updates as that game progresses. Uh, but I will say this. Good luck to Central. You know, good luck to Central. Good luck to Hoover. I don't know who's gonna win that game. I you know, I wish that game was on a Saturday. Because I probably would have went for real though. Like, all serious. I, I would have went up to Hoover and watched that game. Had that game been on Saturday. Or better yet, if this game been on Saturday, I would have went up there, watch that game tonight, and then watch the Carver game Saturday. But it didn't work out. Both teams are playing, so and I, I assume they're gonna be showing the game on the Facebook page. So yeah. But right now, Carver just gotta continue handling their business. Uh, they win this one. They only went to the quarterfinals, and I believe Carver will have home. I think I believe Carver has home for the Vans throughout the playoffs, uh, as long as they keep winning up until the championship game in Atlanta. So, which I probably would not be attending because I think a lot of those games are during the week. So, we'll see. Plus, Carver has a really. But well, Carver was in the championship game a couple years back. You know, 2021, I think, but lost. But you know. I know they wasn't in it last year. You know, they actually lost to Savannah Christian in the semifinals. I think the year before they, they kind of lost early in the playoffs. So, but yeah, that's why you play the playoffs. That's why you play these games because you just never know. You know, one bad move, it could be your final game of the season. So yeah, uh, as far as basketball season, um, I do want to go to some basketball games. I've been saying that for years. I was going to go to some basketball games. I've really been uh, high school basketball games since. Kendrick was on their way to uh, Macon for uh, not they. I didn't watch him in Macon, but like I think they was at CSU playing and they and they won that game, which sent them to Macon for the championship game. So you know, I and mean, that's when the uh, Kendrick girls was really good. Come, oh, that's when the Kendrick girls were really good. So they're not good now. So uh, that's unfortunate, but um, nonetheless. Uh, yeah, that's probably the last time I've been to a high school basketball game. So I'm, I'm, that was in 2013. So I am 11 years overdue. It's about time that I get back there. But anyways, um, we're doing basketball season once basketball season arrives. Until then, it's still football time. Let's go, Carver Tigers. Probably going to miss the kickoff because it's already 6:59. But I'm right here at the stadium. Just gotta get across the street. But yeah, um, I will try to get me um, like an after hour beer, I mean, um, happy hour beer. 
but I ran out of time because I had to get to the stadium because I it's already bad enough to miss kick on you know I don't want to miss too much of the first quarter and then by the time I, I join in the action is already the second quarter it, it worst case scenario the game's already blow out in the first quarter so that was suck even worse so yeah here we are though we are here people and yeah I had to bring out the hoodie today despite it being 50 degrees as of right now the temperature drop is one thing but adding the wind which is supposed to be gusting up to about 20 miles an hour today makes a huge difference so yeah so I had to bring out the hoodie just in case uh, the tensions really start dropping because I don't want to be doing this that would suck but let me get off of this because uh, I gotta get my ticket ready well, turns out I did not miss the kickoff after all. That ain't went through the, uh, the tunnel yet. Ringo's getting set up over there as well. About four and a half minutes before kickoff. So yeah, the Ringo team is the Tigers as well. So it's a battle of the Tigers. And number 72, Parker Bridget, our captain for the coin club. What's a nice contest? We found a pair of keys. They are available at the front gate. Check yourself and make sure you have your key because at the end of the game, you'll be in big trouble. Here we go. So Ringo's will get the ball to start it off. Carver will get the first ball at the halftime. about the action on the gridiron. Let's go. And this game is underway. Oh, they already nervous. That's the very first play. But defense! Three it out right here! Alright, 
third down. Gotta make the play, gotta feel this time. Oh, and I'm gonna. Oh! <laughs> that was a retarded throw. <laughs> Uh oh, they're going for it. Oh, stop Miz over See the bitch got the first down. Uh oh. I'm not nervous, though. Now, how I want to see the boys get started. Oh, by the way, Ringo's bed just showing up. Let's see, they better actually do something at halftime. But we got to wrap up though on third or fourth down. We can't let them get these first down. Can't let them convert. Okay. Well, the good news is they're not going to be in this. The good news is they're not going to be in the run the ball on us. Make the noise of your college. All right, got to capitalize this third down. Ball's at the 25 yard line. He's going to throw it again. Sack him, sack him. <laughs> I, okay, they're going to take the field goal this time. Watch the fake. Miss it. All right, now's the offense, sir. All right, it's the coach say we go straight first. Let's make it happen. Oh, they're not ready. All right, comes on the ground. Well, first down right here. And yeah, we got to shut them up over there. Get this first down. Just two yards. That's all you need. There it is. There it is. There it is. Yeah, we can convert first down to third down too, Ringo. Now what? We can do it too, but better. All right, another third down. Oh, he's going to air it out again. He's going to air it out again. And it's incomplete again. No. That, would be, that was two big plays. Stop by incomplete pass. Shot to Ringo. More people showing up today than the Feral crowd did last week. Good, That's all they got for you. That's all they can do for you. Rare to this may happen tonight. Oh, that's a good play. They've been in the press I've been seeing in these other games. Got him within the 20. All right, defense, you know what you got to do now. Come on, three it out right here. Let's get it. Nothing. Cut the ball, Ringo. Let's get it. Okay. Second and 15. 
Air it out. Air it out. Touchdown! Let's go! Touchdown, baby! Touchdown, Palmer! Touchdown, Palmer! Extra point is good. Harvard seven, Ringo zero. Two minutes, 58 seconds left in the first quarter. All right, another third down. It's third down and one. Take a look at your Tiger. Barely got it. All right, another third down. Let's go. Nothing. Fourth down. Put the damn ball again. All right, three last play of the first quarter. I stand corrected. That's the end of the first quarter. Carver 7, Ringo 0. Oh, and a quick score update. Uh, your first one of the day. Uh, LaGrange is up 13 to nothing over Sandy Creek. I think that game is also in the first quarter, if I saw corrected. Um, I'm going to check it out just one second as uh, Carver and Ringo both switch possess, switch sides of the field for the second quarter. Okay, I said quicker that the great score is in the first quarter. Second quarter begins here. Ball's at the 21 yard line. And it's second to seven for the Mighty Tigers. Air it out. Point is good. It is 14 to Zappy. That's how you strike in the second quarter. Go say we go straight. Y'all go straight first. Y'all did it straight first. Straight twice. Let's go. Turn up on him. Get him down. All right, so, got, so I think we got an injury, so I'm gonna pause this. Come on, come on, come on. He caught it first down. And nobody was there to cover him. Of course he's gonna get that first down. Oh, it's not a first down. Oh, fourth and, fourth and inches, okay. You know they're finna go and going right out the middle.
It's fourth down and one. You need to make some noise on both sides. Let me hear you scream for your tires. My defense. They nervous. They don't know what to do now. Now it's the first down. So another first down with Parker leaving the guy wide open. This time a big dude. See what happens here. Not a damn thing. All right, second down. Good stop. Come on, defense. Big stop here, right here. They nervous. They don't know what the fuck to do. <laughs> I think I'll throw it. Well. All right, no cheers on that side, so must be incomplete. All right, second field goal attempt for Ringo. It's up. And it's no good again. <laughs> Made that zero for two in field goals for Ringo. Guess what? Still not on the board. <laughs> All right. It's 21. It's 21 Zappy DC. It's 21. It's just 21 Zappy these guys, man. All this opportunity to score, they, <laughs> they can't do it. All right. Balls at 30. Come on, offense. Oh, it's something, I guess. He caught it. Good. All right, back on the ground now. You can get the first down on the ground. We in that territory now. You get it? Tell me you got it. Tell me you got it. Oh yeah. Oh, they moved the chase. First down. All right, second and oh, second and ten. After they complete pass. Back to the ground. Oh, he's run away from that guy. It's on him. Yep, it's on him. We'll take, on, we'll take those few extra yards. Thank you, Ringo. <laughs> oh, Ringo's bed's setting up. I see no bells detected, so I'm a little disappointed in that. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Where we at now? Gotta be the, oh, we in the red zone. Let's go. We got ODH is getting ready. I think Ringo's gonna go first, and their car's gonna pour him after him. We got the balls at the 13. Yes. Let's go! Oh, he in there. He in there. He in there, baby. Let's get it. All right, coming out of the timeout, uh, brief score update. Um, what I told y'all, the Grapes up 13 nothing. They had just scored a touchdown, yet they had yet to take the extra point, which was good. Then they tapped on the field goal. So they're in the second quarter. If they're up 17 to 
What the fuck was that? But yeah, uh, LaGrange is now up 17 to nothing over Sandy Creek. Meanwhile, a really big game up in the ATL area. Game that might need to keep an eye out on. Because this is a major game. Uh, first quarter, Buford up 14 to nothing over Douglas. Uh, Barber does have some history with Buford. Played him in the playoff game or two down here in Columbus. So. I think they split. I think Carver won one, and I think Buford won that one. But uh, anyways, it was fourth down. Let's go. All right. They went zero for two. Let's go one for one. And that field goal is no good. That extra, I mean, that field goal, I came up on that extra point, it is no freaking good. So we're zero for one if field goes down. Bro, three and out right here. Get him down, get him down. Good job. Get off the field, Ringo. Get your punk ass off, off, my, off my field. Okay, punt team's coming out. If I don't kill you, better punt. Because you want no noise with this defense. None. Watch the face, though. No, seriously, watch the face. Watch the face. All right, time out, Ringo. Yeah, they trying to draw us off sides. Fail! Who's going to be out there to cover the punch? And yeah, they went for it. And yeah, they got the first down. Well, keep your offense on the field, I guess, Ringo. I take back call you on punk guys. Y'all challenged us on four down and got it. Oh. Ringo actually does have bells. Okay, we good then. Maybe the band might actually make some noise after all. Bro, can I, can I get a pick six now? Like last week, we got two of them. Touchdown, Ringo. Hey, don't say it like I be saying it when, um, when Carver scores a touchdown. He's trying to mark me. Nope. Oh, penalty. I always see it where the. Uh... Oh, so that's what y'all carver now. So the touchdown will stand. We got a game here. That's only thing I can say about that. Okay, they kick it at least pick back an extra point though. You know he sucks at field goals. At least make extra point. In your case, we do not want you in Gainesville when you're done with your career. You're a high school senior. Just heard the damn extra point already. So it's 14 to 6. Well, we won't be able to hang up 40 or 50 or 60 on these guys, but I believe you'll still win this game. Ringo made it the game, though. I give him credit, bro. 
All right, park 45 left before halftime. Well, just like that, it is halftime. Power 14, Rego 6. And we'll be right back after these brief messages. Almost as big as Otter's man. up as usual. Dance squad cutting up as usual. I'm sure the chillers are finding a way to stay warm on the other side. Though. Time. All right, we're gonna take a break, quick mini break, and we'll be right, we'll be right back for the third quarter. All right, let's go. Third quarter is about to begin now. 
Yeah, the temperature is dropping. It's now 45 degrees outside. We're gonna, we're gonna withstand it though. It's just that wind is making a big difference. I don't know what the fuck just happened, but don't do that ever again either. All right, second and I guess 13. Uh, score update. <sighs> Uh, let me correct myself because I think when I was going over to Buford Sport, I said uh, they was playing Douglas. Uh, they're playing Lounge out of Valdosta. That's where I met. Come on, you got to catch that. That was right in his hands. He dropped it. Oh, penalty. So maybe that player will get negated, but he still got to catch that ball. Though. But anyways, uh, Buford's up 21-7 over Lounge at the half. Buford, one of the best teams in the state. As I mentioned, Carver had a run with them last decade in the playoffs. We'd like to play them again, but that's not happening anytime soon. And that's all I got right now as far as like, uh, the score updates. Um, I was going backwards. I'll let y'all know what's going on in the Central game momentarily. I'm, I'm sure they're playing right now, them and Hoover. So if it's five stars, probably be second and 18. Watch we air it out for a touchdown. So far, we got a close game, though. So, something that happened, that happened in the last five games I went to. Got to go back to the Auburn Central game last time. I saw a close game. Oh, come on. Come on. But you know I'll take that. You know I'll take that. You know I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll take that. Touchdown. Yes, I will. For a second, like he was out, but oh, they say he got in. Touchdown. What's up? This is good. Harvard 21, Ringo 6. Go get him. Incomplete. All right. Let me, another score update. Uh, this one in LaGrange. Uh, they're at 31 to 7 at the half over Sandy Creek. So that, was, that game's pretty much done. Um, Douglas is playing right now. I think they're playing Calhoun. And I think that score is 17 7. So uh, Douglas is down right now. And across the uh, water, Central Hoover, no score right now. That game is currently in the first quarter. Nice stop! Oh, wait. Never mind. Trickery. Touchdown Ringo. They're not going away. This one gets saying they probably gonna go for two and move for it. That's it, they scoring what touchdowns. Oh, they are going for two. Never mind. All right. And it is complete. Or he dropped it. Oh, okay, they say he caught it, so yeah. So there you go, 20, uh, Carver 20, where we go 14, early in the third quarter. All right. Well, air it out if you got to. Air it out if you got to. Let's 
Start sucking and run. Short game. Grambling. Come on, gotta get a first down here. <clears throat> There you go. First and goal. the Tigers. The Tigers. The Going in there. So far, I got every touchdown on this block so far. And it's good. 28 to 14. Back up by two touchdowns now. All right, so the first down was resorted in the almost interception. Second down was ordered in the side. What you gonna do on the third down? <laughs> Oh, the front of it's a rip ball. Against offense, the penalty is the clock. Now put the ball like you're supposed to be doing. Started forever. Never really get how much of a block they're stopping the clock, clock away every damn play. So now Ringo has momentum. They just had a complete catch. Look at this shit. Look at this fucking shit. This, I did see a penalty. We're just gonna stop the clock yet again. Hold on, Ringo. Forward backwards. Ooh, 
Come on, big side here. Minute 10 seconds left in the third quarter, by the way. Oh! He dropped the interception, but it don't matter because the turtle rolled down, so it's still a ball anyway. Finally. After an hour and a half later, it feels like it in eternity. The third quarter has finally come to an end. There's the score. 28 to 14 favorite part. And the foes up. And the foes up. Let's go ahead. Just run the clock. Just kill it. Let's get out of here. Before 50% uh, of us get frostbite. Not me, bro. Some people will get frostbite. about to stop filming and they keep on throwing penalties out there every clip. Now with the damn penalties on. Oh, let me guess. Let the puck run. Offense. Five yard penalty. Repeat second down. Salt the clock. Surprisingly, it's not even 10 o'clock, but it's closing in on it. Shit. Clock is running up, okay. Two minutes, 35 seconds left in the game. The clock is officially running. So it's third down for Carver. Just, I just want to just run the ball. You got two touchdowns, you know. Yo, and that's how to score any more touchdowns. Just play defense. Once you get it on defense. They get plays like that. Yeah! All right, hopefully no more stoppers. Let's get it, man. You better not call a penalty either. That's what I thought. Second down. One more timeouts. One more timeouts, please. Well, nine seconds left for the play clock. You gotta hike it. All right, quarterback sneak. Goes nowhere. False start penalty for no reason. That play was a disaster. That's not even Ringo have a, have, have a momentum. That's just bad execution all around my car. You better have got the, you better have got the stadium before the uh, car review finds you.
Despite all this heinous rip ball that's going on here. Oh, 31 on Rigo. Finally. Put the ass back. Anyways, uh, those better better. Here's the uh, score updates. Up there in LaGrange, uh, they're up 38 to 20 over Sandy Creek. That game is in the fourth quarter. We actually got points in Hoover. Uh, Central's up 17 to 7 over the Hoover Buccaneers. That game is in the second quarter. And that's all I got for now. It is second and 15 here. Five minutes, 41 seconds left in the game. Go on, defense. Go on, sack his ass. And a third down. Ringo has to score here. If they don't, it's over with. Carver still at 28 to 14. What defense? Finish him. What defense? Great defense there. It would have been a fourth and country mile down by two touchdowns. I expect them to go for it. If they don't get this, if they don't get this one, it's over with officially. Don't you dare throw a flag. Come on, defense! Yeah! That's my interception! Get down, get down! You got the ball, get down! When the big six man I got my interception, that might be the dagger. That might be the dagger. <laughs> Let's go! Yeah! All right, first down. Ball at midfield. Less than four minutes left. You don't got to throw the ball anymore. Just run the clock out. There's another first down. Oh, oh, we got a dagger. First down. Touchdown, answer. Either way, it's a game OV. All right, ball at 18. Right here, guys. Get ready. Get ready. 
That's it. That's the game. Checkmate. That is checkmate, people. It's over. We all to the next round. Bring on the next opponent. It's gonna be the sixth game in a row. I come to, and we got a blowout. But this one's not as bad as the last ones have been. All right, so it's gonna be the final score update in this vlog. Uh, we got a beatdown of all proportional beatdowns going on up there in Buford. Uh, it's 42 to 7 over Lounge. Uh, Lounge, you might want to get spent that low trip. Down 285 to 75, close to the Florida State line. That devout also is so for y'all. Buford, get ready to go to the next round. That game is for the fourth quarter, by the way. Meanwhile, this one is over with, too. So, I expect um, Ringo to probably get like maybe two plays in, and that's going to be it. I just to nail down here. Yeah, I think this is going to be the final play. You can get out. Yeah, this is it. Y'all can go back to Ringo, where you came from, and don't ever come back to the city of Columbus ever again until you have a better football team on the field. That's for us. We await our next opponent in the quarterfinals. See you next Friday. <laughs> well, people, that is all she wrote. Carver wins 35 to 14, sent Ringo home. I will give Ringo credit on one thing, and this is the only thing I give him credit on. They have more people to show up for their game tonight than Farrell did last Friday. So I give him credit. You know, I don't know where Ringo is. I think it's in the Atlanta area. I have to look that up. But uh, for them to make that travel, it sat out in that 40 some degree weather despite a lot of rep ball in that third quarter. Hey, y'all some real troopers, Ringo. But unfortunately, your season had to come to an end. And just while I thought I was going to get a close game for the first time since the Auburn Central game, that was the game where uh, Carvel scored that last touchdown late in the fourth quarter to go up by 21. So, nonetheless, another blowout. Now, this one wasn't as bad as. The last few have been, you know, a lot of them been like 76 or 60 something to 14, something that proportion. So yeah, a lot of those blocks have been severely lopsided. Uh, this one wasn't as bad, but it was still a block though, 35 to 14. <clears throat> uh, the defense really played great, you know, they really stepped up when, you know, they really stepped up to the occasion, you know, and get Ringo, I'll get Ringo, well, no, I'm not going to give y'all any more credit, but um, Ringo actually uh, came to play, though, the first half. You know, they really was able to go back and forth with Carver, threw some punches at him as well. But I think the, uh, the talent pool between Carver and Ringo began to show itself in the second half, and Carver was able to uh, slowly but surely put the game away. I feel like the experience really took over, so. Now, I gotta look at uh, the, uh, the bracket to see who Carver will be playing next. So, but um, nonetheless, looks like we'll be back at Otis Pistol, Otis, ah, Otis Pistol Stadium next Friday for 
the next game, the quarterfinals, Lord willing, because like it is Thanksgiving weekend, so next weekend that is. But so we have to see how things uh, pan out going into that game. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna guarantee I'm gonna go to that game, but we're gonna see how things pan out. We will say I'm likely gonna be at that game, but you never know. It's only it's seven days away. Anything can happen, you know. So. I don't really have any legit plans that's gonna uh, keep me from going. So I think it's just more on my health. Can I stay? Can I stay healthy? Can I not get sick the last couple of uh, next couple of days? I'm probably, my throat probably gonna be uh, hurting uh, tomorrow because I because all the yelling and screaming I was doing in the video. Uh, the job me do early in the, um, throughout the video, the Carver did something major. So I'm probably gonna take a hit from that. <clears throat> So yeah, I don't want to make this part too long, so I'm just going to end it now. I'm going to give me a beer. I'm probably going to give me something to eat. I'm probably going to go to the house because I am starting to get a little drained. You know? Being in there wet me, being out there, you know, for three plus hours can really do a number. But the good news is I kind of, uh, for the most part, I kind of, you know, able to bounce back from last week, so trip to Atlanta uh, that really took me out last uh early this week so I was so I was basically recovering for that um most uh for the bulk of this week so it feels like I'm it's safe to say I'm back in action now so um yeah but that's all I got we're gonna get up out of here and y'all be easy until next time we sign it out let's go Carver Tigers let's get this thing going three more games and then we hoist that championship. We just got to get three more. Just got to get through three more games and get three more wins. Let's do it. Quarterfinals up next. Hot y'all later.